We're back here at the AMRC. Now they have plenty of technical partners, but we're here with Alicona UK to really discuss with the AMRC how they embrace their products and why they work with them as a technical partner. Oliver, we're here at the AMRC in the 3D measurement area. Now you've got two Alicona products here, but could you tell me how the G5 actually helps you on the composite side of your business? Yes, yeah, so um, there's two major things that I use the uh, Alicona G5 for. Um, the first one is tool wear assessment. Um, so I look a lot at um, composite machining. In composite machining, we generally see that the type of wear experienced by the tools is edge rounding wear, um, as opposed to flank wear. Um, and because of that, we need the Alicona in order to see how the tool is wearing as it progresses through its life. So we can stop a machining trial at certain points um, throughout the tool life. So maybe after we've drilled five holes, 100 holes, 200 holes, um, and see how the wear has progressed. Um, that's very useful for PCD tools. It's also very useful for um, coated tools as well, which are the two major types of tools we use uh, for composite machining. Um, the second thing that I use the Alicona system a lot for is for surface roughness measurements. Um, so in composites, um, because of the anisotropic nature um, of uh, carbon fiber, um, the RA value is dependent on the angle that you measure it in. Um, because of that, we prefer to use the aerial surface roughness, um, so the SA value. Um, so with a optical system um, like the Alicona, um, we can get the SA value um, very easily. And how do you find the ease of use of the systems? Uh, yeah, I would say it's um, a very kind of comprehensive um, user interface. And one of the things I really like about the Alicona as well is you can automate it. Um, so if you have a lot of um, measurements to take or a lot of samples to measure, especially on things like the surface roughness um, side of things, you can set it going um, and have it move to several different positions and take surface roughness measurements of sef uh, several different samples. And you certainly couldn't do that on a traditional CMM then, could you? On a CMM, uh, you could not, no. So really the whole benefits to the systems here, and this is why you have four of them here, is really the time saving, but obviously the benefit of the system is far greater than anything else in the market. That I'm aware of, yeah. Adam, as the technical lead here in the Metrology Centre of the AMRC, could you tell me the advantages of the G5 Alicona machine over a CMM? Of course, yeah. Uh, the Alicona system is ideally suited to small features like chamfers, radii, uh, even small diameter holes, which are challenging, if not impossible, on a CMM. And we have here a uh, additive manufactured knee joint with a lattice structure on the back surface. This structure is impossible to measure with our CMMs. Uh, we've done a quick scan here. It took a few seconds. And we can now begin to evaluate aspects such as node distances, uh, string diameters, uh, maybe even surface roughness if we do another scan. Uh, you can get CM surface roughness on a CMM, but it requires specialist kit that does nothing else. So really, the benefits of this machine is, is the surface finishing is, is key to this element of product. It, it's a key aspect of the Alicone, yes, but um, not to forget the geometric evaluation as well. Thanks very much indeed. Uh, thank you. Ian, you head up the machine ability section of the AMRC. How do you benefit from Alicona? Well, as a team, uh, machine ability is interested in assessing um, as the name suggests, the machinability of new materials uh, and new tool designs. So we use the Alicona a lot for um, getting a lot of very detailed information about um, new tool designs. So we look at a lot of edge rounding data to, to assess how, uh, how sharp the tools are. Um, we look at nose rads, that sort of thing. Um, and it also gives us a lot of information about the type of tool wear mechanisms that we typically see with new hard to cut uh, materials, which gives us a lot more information about the, the, the cutting process. And does that help the production element? Absolutely. Um, as a team, we tend to use, uh, we tend to assess 
um, relatively low technology readiness level um, processes and materials, but that information gets fed back into applications team teams uh, and platform groups that uh, apply it to real world, world solutions, um, real world problems, um, and yeah, it, it, it improves the with the aim, aim that it improves the manufacturing processes. And in reference to ease of use and the training side, how is it? Is it that easy to use for your trainees? It's quite a sophisticated system, um, but in terms of its user interface, it, it is quite simple. Um, we have a, a, a group of 20 to 30 people who are, uh, are now trained to use it with um, minimal supervision. Um, and yeah, it's, 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 it's easy to get some very good, useful data out. So really by investing in four different elements of their products and being a partner, obviously that's really helping the AMRC. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, we receive good technical support from Alicona um, and it's, yeah, we, we rely on that relationship um, to um, maintain the quality of the, of the data that we're, that we're outputting. Thanks, Ian. Thank you.